Hello everybody, this is Scott, and I'll be answering another one of your uh, questions, and that is a, uh, what is an HTTP request? An HTTP request stands for, an H well, as we all know, hyper, uh, HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, which um, leads to our question, what is the uh, HTTP request? And you're essentially, what, this is what happens, when your browser goes onto a website, it needs to collect all the information and see, okay, where is it getting this stuff? Uh, your images. Images are not physical items. You do not code images. It has to retrieve the image from somewhere. I don't just say, I want the image to be, and then I just type a couple lines of code, and then a picture of a cat shows up. That's just not how it works. I have to have the image from somewhere. So, an HTTP request is very simple. It's when the browser makes a request to an outside or internal server, depending on how, where your images are hosted, and request the information to display the item. So, essentially, here, let me draw you, let me use my drawing techniques with paint, and we're gonna give you, okay, so here's your, here's your browser, okay, yeah, woo, here's your cat picture. Oh no, the cat picture's not showing up. Your browser's like, okay, there's supposed to be a picture of a cat here, so it's gonna go over here, and it's gonna say server. It's your server, Rock. This is where all the, this is where all the stuff's stored, and... Alright, it's gonna say server, I need cat picture. So we're gonna have over here, we got our cat picture. It's got a little box. So it's got a picture of a cat, it's right here. So then the server's gonna say, okay. It's gonna see, okay, can this thing make the... Can this browser make the request? Uh, this is generally done by the server being blocked through an HT, uh, HT access file. Yes, HT access file, and it prevents certain. You can block people from viewing your site. You can block people from viewing certain elements of your site. Uh, you can block people from uh, viewing ads. Uh, people do this with the AdSense all the time. They go into their file and say, "This uh, IP address can no longer view my ads, or th can no longer view this element, or it can no longer view this site." They can go in and they can block them. So it's okay. Okay. So if it gets the OK signal, the server is going to be like, "Okay," and now it's going to say, "Okay." So it's got to find which, where's that IP address, like, okay, so it's looking for the IP, now it found your IP address, and now here's your browser, you got all your content, and then your cat picture will show up. And that is basically how an HTTP request works, as the layman's terms, and how we use cat pictures. So, all of you people constantly putting cat pictures on the internet, that's how you do it. You are welcome. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I will try to answer them as best as I can and as simple as I can. Because that's what I'm here for, is to answer questions and to elaborate things to where anyone can understand them. As long as they have a functioning brain and know how to spell. That'd be kind of hard. I'm taking back that. I can't do it. They can spell. You gotta know how to use the internet. And then you're done. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.